Your pond will probably also attract various types of animals. Although muskrats and beavers pose no problems to fish, they can be nuisances. Occasionally they will tunnel or burrow into the dam just below the water level, which can weaken the dam or cause leaks. In addition, beavers often attempt to plug overflow pipes and spillways, which can lead to water flowing over dams during heavy rains. The destruction of surrounding timber is also a concern to most pond owners. Muskrats and beavers can be controlled by trapping or shooting. Contact local conservation officers to determine legal methods and seasons to control these animals. Many pond owners are concerned about otters consuming their fish. Otters typically do not cause problems in bass brim ponds due to the high reproductive rates of these fish species. Sufficient numbers of young fish are produced to more than replace those eaten by otters. However, if control is desired, the methods used on muskrats and beavers are equally effective. River otters have special tagging requirements and seasons, therefore a conservation officer should be contacted before control measures are taken. Snakes often cause concern for pond owners, but usually for unjustified reasons. Water attracts snakes, but most are harmless and they play an important role in nature. Snakes should just be left alone and viewed from a distance. If their presence is cause for concern, then simply clean up the shoreline and they will find other places to live. Turtles are present in most ponds. They are primarily scavengers and are not harmful to fish populations. Occasionally, they become a nuisance by stealing bait or fish from stringers. They may also eat a small amount of pellet food intended for brim. Normally, turtles are not a problem in sport fish ponds. However, their abundance can be reduced using turtle traps. Turtle traps are simple in design and can be built or purchased. Sometimes bass and brim populations get out of balance, and fishing becomes poor for bass, brim, or both. Often it takes several years for pond owners to recognize there's a problem, but often fishing quality declines very rapidly. Ponds get out of balance and fail to provide satisfactory fishing for a variety of reasons. The most common reasons are competition from wild fish that were not eliminated prior to stocking, or wild fish found their way into the pond shortly after it was stocked. The pond was limed or fertilized improperly, a fish kill occurred, or the pond was stocked improperly. Prolonged drought, a heavy weed infestation, or frequent floods also affect balance. Pond owners should never stock any species of fish without first consulting a fisheries biologist. Species such as shad, crappie, and golden shiners compete with bass and brim and disrupt balance. Other fish species such as bullheads, gar, bowfin, green sunfish, and warmouth may enter the pond from the watershed through no fault of the owner. Once undesirable species have become established, the only remedies are to drain the pond or attempt to control their abundance by increasing the density of adult bass. If your pond is terribly out of balance, and we are certain of it, Often the fastest and cheapest path back to good fishing is to eliminate the existing fish population and start completely over. This involves draining the pond, eliminating any remaining fish with rotenone, and restocking. It is strongly recommended that you discuss your situation with a fisheries biologist before beginning this process. This subject is discussed in greater detail in section two of this DVD, or you may press enter on your remote now to take you directly there.
Alligators are becoming increasingly abundant in Alabama, and occasionally they may take up residence in fish ponds. Since alligators do not impact the balance of a bass brim population, they should just be left alone. Do not feed or harass them. If they do become a nuisance or a danger to other users of the pond, then a local conservation officer should be contacted for removal. Mosquito populations are usually controlled by brim and mosquito fish, which feed upon larvae. Deepening pond edges and reducing aquatic vegetation will also reduce mosquito populations by eliminating breeding areas. Midges are mosquito-like insects that live in and around ponds and are often mistaken for mosquitoes. Thousands of midges are sometimes present around fish ponds. They make a noise similar to mosquitoes, but midges are usually larger than mosquitoes, have fuzzy antenna, and do not bite. The larval form of midges is a significant portion of the bluegill's diet. Many ponds have ducks and geese. Usually waterfowl don't pose a threat to the balance of a sportfish pond. However, they can cause problems if they become abundant. For example, an abundance of waterfowl can defoliate the shoreline, causing erosion and muddy water. High densities of waterfowl can cause fish kills from excessive waste entering the pond. Additionally, waterfowl can transport and spread aquatic vegetation. A common belief among pond owners is that herons, cranes, kingfishers, and other water birds transport fish or fish eggs from one pond to the other. While this may be possible, it's not likely and has not been proven. While some water birds are the intermediate host of fish parasites and some eat fish, they generally pose no serious threat to bass brim ponds. Now occasionally large flocks of fish eating cormorants take up residence on ponds. Under these circumstances, significant fish loss can occur and control measures may be necessary. Practically all water birds are protected by law, so conservation officers should be contacted before control measures are initiated. Most control methods with aquatic birds in ponds involve harassment techniques that attempt to relocate them.